Good evening. Hello, hello. Hi, everyone. Maguire Mauricio Emerson. Hello, guys. Hi, good evening, teacher. Hi, Miguel. How are you? Good evening. Um, it's okay, but I'm still driving. In a couple of minutes, I will be arriving at home. All right, all right. So you're just driving right now, okay? But you okay, can, thanks. You, yeah, yeah, that's okay. That's okay. Thank you for letting me know. Yes, drive safely. Be careful. I it's dangerous driving at night. Yes, Mauricio. Welcome, Mauricio. How are you? Hi, I'm fine. Thank you. Uh, yesterday, I, I I had a busy day because uh, no uh, yesterday. Yes, for the reason I didn't have the opportunity to participate in the class, but oh. today I don't have anything to do. I'm sorry for yesterday because I need to to bring something to my house. Uh, for my girlfriend, I need it. My girlfriend, I need it. Bring, I need it. Bring uh, something for my uh, to my house, cause my girlfriend traveled to USA around eh one month ago, and I had to get all. All right, all right. I understand that. Don't worry about it. Did you? Excuse me. Did you work today? Uh, yes. My birthday is. Yesterday, no, sorry, um, Monday and Tuesday. Yes, right, right. So you you're back to yes. work today. That's that's good. <laughs> right. Yeah. And how how was it? Was it easy? Was it difficult today? What can you say about that? Oh, to, today was uh, I don't know. So sometimes difficult and sometimes uh, uh normal because you know I'm I'm seller. And I had a difficult customer every day, and today I have a coaching, and today I have to I had to get another schedule. Where I'm going to work um from from nine a.m. to seven p.m. Wow. Uh, after after December four. Mm -hmm. So so I, I I my 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 shift will be changed a lot because nowadays yeah. I, my shift is uh from sorry yes yes continue continue because nowadays my shift is uh seven a.m. until five p.m. All right, I get it now. I get it. So it yes. it's it gonna have. I mean, you're gonna have some advantages and disadvantages. You're gonna sleep more in the morning because you said at nine a.m. Right? You're gonna have the chance to yes. rest a, a couple of hours or, or an hour more. And uh, the, the 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 negative part about it is that you're gonna be be finishing at seven p.m. That's the difficult part. Yes, but uh, I don't like that schedule because I'm I like to to be productive, and so I, if I work out later. And I didn't. I I not do anything for for me for about uh, just the class after my job, but uh, I don't have any issues to try for three months. After three months, I'm going to get another shift probably. All right, all right. That's okay. That's okay. So you're gonna be beginning with this uh, new shift 
on uh, December 4th, you mentioned. December 4th, yes. And uh, we're going to finish the module on December 4th. It's going to be on a Monday. Oh. Okay, and uh, we're going to do, we need to do the the same steps. Uh, like uh, send the information, request the level, do the test again. Yes, all of it. You uh, have to okay. The, have to do the paperwork again. Yes. Why? Because uh, you know we are in the in the level. I'm not number... really. Sure. I'm not really sure how that goes. I just know that they ask you for. Uh, the Dewey, the well, the ID number, and some other information that I really don't remember. Yes. Yes. So I remember when I uh, I I I had my first experience. I I just I need to send that documents, and when I want to get that lever, the same things. But why? Because the I don't know the secretary already have all information. Yes, well, I don't really understand how it works, to be honest. <laughs> yes. Oh, okay. Thanks. <laughs> All right, Mauricio. Now, thank you for for being here today, for joining. It's I know it's it's difficult, especially today that it's Thursday. It's almost Friday, and uh, you know, psychologically speaking, we are getting tired. Yes. All right. Let's see what's up, Marilyn. Hello, Marilyn. Good evening. How is everything? How are you? How are you today? Good evening. I'm so fine. All right. All right. How was your day at work? Or how was your day in yeah. general? So in, in my job, so a, a little frustrated because oh, no. today is a uh, day payment to, to client. Mm -hmm. Yeah. For the reason, so because the, um, ay, no sé cómo decirle, como la liquidez es menor a la demanda de pagos. The what, sorry? Sí, como, cómo decir que la liquidez es menos para la deuda que se tiene. The cash flow is yeah. less, the cash flow, cash flow. Ah, okay, right cash. Cash. Oops, cash. cash flow is less. Is less what you say? The last thing you said, the último? Eh, deuda. Cash flow is less than the debt. 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 Hold on. The cash flow is less than the debt. In the chat, you can find information there. Mm. Okay. Yeah. So for the reason because the debt is um, a lot of money that in the sell in the sell in the in the supermarket, um, it's a little than the the debt. All right. All right. I'm sorry to to hear that, Marilyn. That you feel well, that you felt frustrated today at work. I know sometimes it's hard, you know, but <laughs> we gotta deal with that. Yes. Yeah. Well, I'm glad that but I'm glad that you're here, Marilyn. Oh yes, it's fine. Sorry. But I'm fine. <laughs> it's today is a little frustrating, but I'm fine. You're fine. All right. All right. That's good. That's good to know. That's good to know. Even though it was difficult, even though it was frustrating, you feel good. You feel positive uh, about this situation. That is really good. Thank you, Marilyn, for joining, for being here. After the frustration, you are here. That's good. That's good. Let me see. Eric. Good evening, Eric. How are you? Eric? How is everything today? Hey, good evening. Um, oh, how? So far, so good. Today so was amazing so... because I could finish um the decorating on my office with my team. All right. 
Do you like it? <laughs> um, yes, I like it. All right, all right. That's it was, good. it was amazing. It was different. Yes, because uh, Christmas is um another weather. It, uh, you feel with air conditioner uh, more fresh and the sun Christmas sounds that my my friends play on the office and the environment is different. Yes, I bet it is. I bet it is. All right. But how do you feel? Good, bad, more or less, tired? Um now I feel ready. Ready to the class. All right. That is good. That is good to know. Well thank you Eric for joining. I'm glad to, to see yeah. you. Well, not to see you. I'm glad to that you're here today, that you're again, you're back again. All right. Excellent. Hello, Mario. Good evening, Mario. How is everything? How are you today? Good evening, teacher. I'm so oh. tired. Really? Why? What happened? What happened to you? I cannot hear you, Mario. There's interference. My connection is stable. Mario, can you hear me? Yes, yes. So what happened to you? Why why are you tired today? Uh, my work is very uh interesting today. All right. I'm sorry that you 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 went through went through that. Yes. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So you feel really tired right now. That's really, really sad. Yes. And I know it's even, it, it is even sadder because, you know, it's not Friday yet. We got to wait a couple of more hours, you know, to rest on Saturday and Sunday. And uh, that makes it, that makes it harder and uh, more, more frustrating. Yes. All right. Let's see. Thank you, Mario, for for joining today's session. It's good to have you here again. Yes. Let me see. Uh, Stephanie, how are you, Stephanie? How's everything? Welcome to today's session. Hello. Good evening. Tell me, how are you? How's everything going? Um, it is good. Um still uh going to my house i recently finished uh like a party of my job so i'm still going to my house because recently finished a party of your dog yes kind of celebration your, your, i rebranding your pet you mean what your pet? No, a rebranding of my job. Oh, all right, all right, rebranding of your job. Yes, I heard. I heard some different. Like you had a party about with your dog. Dog. Uh, no. I was like, what? <laughs> I mean, no, it's no. okay. It's okay if you have a party with your dog. I mean, it's okay. But <laughs> I was just like, what? <laughs> all right, all right. And how do you feel? Nice. <laughs> It was Sorry? nice. Nice. It was oh. nice. All right. Okay. That's that's good to know. That's good to know. I'm glad that you had a good time at, at, at work today. Well, thank you for thank joining, you. Stephanie. I'm glad to have you here again with everybody. Yes. All right. Elisa, how are you, Elisa? How's everything today? How how how's it going? How's it going? How's life life treating you? 
issues not available. And we got some listeners right now. Ronald, welcome back. It's been a while, a couple of days or a week already. I don't know how long it's been. Last time we, we had you over here was like five or uh, six sessions ago. Even though you are as a listener, welcome again. Thank you for joining. It's good to see you. Well, to have you here again after a couple of days. Thank you, Ronald. Thank you so much. I don't know what you said. If you said anything, because uh, there was interference. Uh, okay. No. Uh, I had, uh, thank you so much. I was I was absent because uh, because my work. The, the schedule. Yes. Uh, that's that's was what hard. I thought. Yeah. The, last, the last few weeks. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. Yes. We understand. We understand that, Ronald. Are you going to be available for participation today? Uh, I hope so. Sorry? Uh, I hope so. I'm sorry. I don't understand. Uh, <laughs> no. Uh, I hope uh, I will be available. You won't be available. Uh, no, uh, I hope. Yes. Okay. Okay. That's okay. That's okay. Well, thank you and welcome again, Ronald. It's good to have you here again. I have a listener, Carla, over here, Raul, uh, Luis Javier, Julissa, I think, and uh, Emerson. All right. Uh, thank you guys for joining. It's good to be here again. It is almost Friday, which should motivate you, you know. <laughs> yes. That should motivate you, you know. Tomorrow is the last, the last day of the week. Not the last day of the week, technically speaking, but you know, you understand. Yes. Let me take attendance, and then uh, we're gonna start with the first activity. Diego Josue Benitez Leiva. Elizabeth Stephanie Vasquez Ramirez. Present. Thank you. Let me see. Emerson Alexander Lopez Lopez. Present teacher. We got him, right? Yes, thank you. Eric Enrique Reyes Martinez. Present. Thank you. Ulysses Amilet Villalta Villalta. Then we have uh, Carla Ivania Anaya Ancheta. Katia won't be joining us today. Luis Fabricio Tobar Ramos. Not yet. Luis Javier Castillo. Yes. Not yet. All right. Magdier Esaú Garcia Morales. Present. Present the chair. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Magdier. Yeah. Okay. Marilyn Alejandra Grande Perez. Present. Thank you. Mario Ernesto Ramirez Lopez. Present. Thank you. Mauricio Edgardo Soriano Ramirez. Present. Yes, Rafael is not here right now. Raul Edgardo Muñoz del Cid. Yes, we got him. Okay, guys, uh, let me see. Thank you, Raul, for confirming your, your presence, your attendance. And uh, let's begin right here. Uh, let me know when you get to see the presentation. You see the presentation? For well, sure. All right. As you can see, today is class number 13. It's Thursday, November 16th. And, uh, well, let's begin. The first activity that we have is, uh, I think it's going to be a couple activity. Because 
we, we cannot make uh, groups. This is the one. We're gonna have the first activity in the breakout rooms. And the, the activity consists of this. You're gonna create a list of possible return policies as well as possible guarantee policies. Let me explain this again, or let me help you out on how you're gonna do it. So you're gonna have two different lists. In one list, you're gonna create your return policies for your company, all right? You're gonna pretend that you, you have a company, you are the boss or you guys are the founders of a company and that you're going to create your, create your return policies and that, that list, right? The list of them, maybe five of them, yes. And you're going to create your list of guarantee policies, right? Yes, for example, for example, one example of a return policy can be uh, all items uh, will be returned. What, what, oh, all purchases. All purchases will be returned if it is as it was sent, okay? All purchases will be returned, will be returned if, or, well, well, if only if, right? only if it is as it was sent, yes. Like the same uh, physical appearance, the same condition, with no scratches, no damages, anything negative, right? That can be one return policy, right? And it can also be a guarantee policy. So you're going to create uh, four, four each, four return policies and four guarantee policies, all right? So as total, you're gonna have eight of them, four for return and four for a guarantee, all right? Do you understand the activity? Guys? Yes. Yes? All right, that's okay, that's okay. Let's come up with the statements. Or more, see, see them as, as rules, rules that, that uh, your company has when, uh, when a person wants to return something or wants, uh, wants to change it or something like that, yes. These are going to be your rules available for everybody on your online store. You're gonna put them over there on the, on the online store or on the website, available for people to see them, to read them. In that way, uh, they will see if they agree or not to the terms, or they will be like terms and conditions, all right? Terms and conditions for return and for guarantee. Yes. So let me see if I can create the groups right now, the couples, I mean. It is not gonna be a lot of people. It's only this one. This is enough. Let me see if I can uh, create them right now. Let me see. Yeah, Fabricio, right now. The other ones like this and this. All right. Guys, I would like you to join the groups or the, the yes, the breakout rooms or the, the, the rooms right now. They are available to uh, for everybody, so please join them right now and work on the activity, please. Go, go. I am going to be monitoring everyone, okay? So join, please.
guys, can you please join the groups? Can you join Marilyn? Your partner is waiting for you in the group. Yes, please, because uh, your 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 partner is waiting for you in the group, and uh, the other ones over here are not available right now. Yes, so please. Hello. Hey. All right. Uh, so, how's everything going over here? Going over here. I'm, I'm sorry. How is everything going over here? Working on on the activity. I'm I'm working, but I'm I'm not sure if my friend is available. Yes, he is. Mine is available. Is that he is. La, la, el cuadrito de lo que vamos a hacer. I'm sorry. Eh, eh, la información de lo que vamos a hacer. Pues, oh, tengo. yes. Let me share it again. Uh, it's over here. Take a look. We are going to come up with the terms or conditions, well, terms, conditions, or rules for consumers and customers to follow when they want to return something, all right? Or when they want to apply for a guarantee, yes? So you're going to create a list of uh, return rules or return conditions, as well as return, I mean, uh, guarantee conditions. So you're gonna create four return policies and four uh, guarantee policies. That's what we will be doing. That's the activity. You can you can share ideas about about this, all right? Go for it. Uh, well, uh, the we the can... customer has to pay the 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 customer has to pay the 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 delivery return or return delivery. I don't know how to say that. Delivery return. The delivery delivery return. returned. Yes, the customer has to pay the delivery return. Customer has to pay. Deliver return. Delivery, 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 deliver, return, return, cost, cost, no, cost, yes. Uh, another one could be. Um, blah, 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 blah.
Uh, mm, I don't know if it's the same thing, guarantee or as a as a uh, return when you say when you when the seller says, well, I'm I'm not going to return the money, but you have to get another product for the same price. Okay, it will be something like um, we don't uh, I don't know if that is like desembolso a, de dinero. We don't we do not re return money. No money return. Money we do not we do not uh, money return. Yes. But I don't know how to uh, if there is like a warranty that or or is is a return policy. It could be both. I think. Bro, mm -hmm. which one do you say? Sorry. That well, uh, we're thinking about the uh, if uh if that sentence is a return policy or warranty. For example, if you if if I say. Uh, the customer has the opportunity to return the product and get another one for the same price, but we don't. But the seller doesn't send the money back. That sounds good. That is, but is it, what do you think? Is a return policy or is a guarantee? It is a return uh, policy because would, a gu guarantee. Actually... I was actually thinking about this, about about this. I think they are kind of, kind of the same, kind of the same. We can use both for both, right? Exactly, yes, for both. Yes, okay. Perfect. But it, it will be useful as a warranty, not uh, like a guarantee. Guarantee is about the, how was the word, satisfaction of the customer. Right. Yes. A warranty. Uh, ah, and that is the document about the return policies. Yes. Okay. <clears throat> we have another so, partner over here, so it's gonna be three. Buenas noches, okay. Lick, uh, teacher. Welcome. Yes, <laughs> welcome, Diego. <laughs> okay, uh, I, I think, okay, the, the, the return. Number four. The, the return number policy four? is uh, when you return the product, you have the, the opportunity to get another product for the same price. Only that. Slowly, man. <laughs> oh, sorry. Uh, Okay, return. The, the customer has the opportunity to return the product and get another one for the same price. Get another one for the same price. Yes. Okay. Okay, about warranty, it probably could be the best price. In this case, I will put uh, the company don't receive a uh, don't receive changes uh, after seven days. Yes, uh huh. Así entiende que se ve una política de devolución, o sea, no se permiten devoluciones después de X tiempo. En este caso le puedo poner lo que lo de fue un siete días. No me he fijado en esa cuestión, pero pero sí, eh, todo el mundo tiene ese tipo de de políticas para poder devolver un producto una, una, un, un tiempo máximo para que no tenga pueda a, acceder o, 
estar beneficiado con la devolución del producto. Eso tiene toda una política de devolución de, de producto. For sure, for sure. And what else? Uh, a warranty. Warranty. Uh, I think, for example, the second purchase discount warranty. Probably Sorry? The second, the, the, the second purchase, uh, how, how do you say? The second purchase discount warranty. Discount. Discount. Yes. But it is warranty or guarantee? Warranty. Warranty. W. No, with G, right? Yes, guarantee. Guarantee. Guarantee, guarantee is with W. Warranty is with guarantee. W. Guarantee. Yes. Guarantee is with G. G U. T sí, and uh, um... Esa no era la duda, sino que si sí, la palabra que debíamos usar en este caso era warranty o guarantee. Oh, in this case, yeah. we're, we're using guarantee. Guarantee, okay. Yes. yes. So, for example, in that case, we, the, the sellers guarantee the discount with the customers back with us and buy something for the second time. Okay. Yes. Normally, it's in the same... This in, in the first purchase, but uh, it's my it's my business, and I make my ruler my rules. <laughs> okay, I don't know if you have another idea. We need to do we need to do other sentence. I'm thinking in it, but I'm 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 driving. And I don't. Oh, no problem, no problem, Diego. I'm, I'm yeah. sorry, no problem. I, I think you you are available. And he's but I'm think I'm thinking if I have an idea, I will say that. Okay. And we talk about the um, quality of the materials of any product. Yes, I, I I was thinking in in this could could be a possibility. Some, we something. have the, the sorry sorry only only original products for example maybe something like oh, that. Yes. Yes. Or we uh, I I remember I I had read uh, in some product uh, something like uh, we gar guarantee uh, the satisfaction of our customer. Uh, the original mask made dice. in China. <laughs> <laughs> in China, right? <laughs> yes. Right. It's original. Yes, yes. You can see that. Uh, made in Vietnam. <laughs> right. Like, right. like, Nike, like, like Nike shoes. Like. Uh, ah, yeah, we going over here. Hi. 
Are we done over here? We are working on that now. All right, all right. Because uh, I'm just going to give you two more minutes and I'm going to take you back to the main session. And uh, over there, you will have the chance to share your ideas. For sure. Yes. Excellent. Thank you. Well, I'll, I'll stay a couple of minutes over here. Okay, okay. Thanks. We have a scam in, in, in La Que Buena and another, another radio, another do station you, with Joy. Do you work in a, a call center, right? Yes. Is it it's Spanish and English or only English? No, it's English. We can we can speak Spanish. Because for, for security policy, for example, if you say yes in... in, in o sea, Si decís sí, yo te entiendo, pues, pero a la hora de que te llegue el cobrador y te diga, mire, usted aceptó pagar $100 per month, that is difficult for us. It's for policy, we, we can speak in, 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 in Spanish. We have another special department for, for do that, for doing that. It's okay. cool complicated to work on a call center and it's different but it's not complicated it's not complicated because uh i you don't have know to use too yes but you don't have the customer uh in front of you you have the customer in the computer because the customer sometimes uh, uh insult you a lot uh, you are a doe or what happened with you I need to call your man or something like that. And in, 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 in my case, I just, okay, I don't understand yeah, that you upset for the service, but let me help you with that. And the customer, fuck you, close the <laughs> chat, for example, or something like that. But for me, okay, I get used to do that every day. <laughs> but I don't speak, I don't talk uh, over the phone, I'm chat. Uh, that's, that's easy. Ah, okay. okay. Chat. Oh, chat. Maybe I don't know. Yes, uh, I'm chat, uh, but I'm not. I I don't. I don't have one customer at the same time. I have some sometimes two or three or four customers at the same time, like WhatsApp with the ganado. Oh yes. Oh, <laughs> that's the complicated it, part. Yes. Yes, because you can you can confuse your your chat, right? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Uh, I, I. Well, at the beginning, I confused a lot chats, and I said, "I'm so sorry uh, for the right, the 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 wrong chat that I sent the you." Wrong chat. <laughs> yes. But, but for me, it's okay. I get to you, but I'm only that. It's a great opportunity to improve your your skills. Yes. Yes. And um, well, we already have four. Sentence. Oh no, eight sentence, right? Um no, we have seven. Oh wait, well, we need one. The last one of the uh, warranty policies. Okay. Um all right, let's go back to the main session then. It's time. Okay. Yes. 
we're gonna share the activity or the policies over there. All right, we're back, and uh, it's time to share uh, your policies. Let's see what you guys got. Let's see what you guys got. Share your policies. We're going to start with Eric and his group. Eric, share what you got. Yeah, for sure. I have, we have, have two policies in this case. All right. Um, and the company doesn't accept claims or claims after se seven days. All right. And the second is the company says that claims are not accept accepted if you if you don't present a ticket. Like, okay, if you don't present a ticket, please. For sure. Okay. Uh, I have a, a warranty, but I'm not sure if, if well, if it is well. And in the appliance area, you will try to the product when making the purchase. All right. It's okay. Yes, it is. It is. It is. Yes. Okay. That is. That is all. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for sharing, Eric. And let's continue with the other ones. Mauricio, what about you? Sorry, teacher Mauricio or Fabricio? Yes, both. Both of you. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I will need your help, Mauricio, to explain each sentences. Okay, the first one uh, of the report, return policies, uh, the purchases needs, purchases need to be returned in uh, five business days. Yes. Five business days, all right. Number two, the product must be in the same condition that the customer received it. Is that okay? Yes, it is. Number three, the customer has to pay delivery return cost. cost. And number four, if the customer return the product, has the opportunity to get another one for the same price. All right. And, and the guarantee policies, we have only three. Three, that's okay. Number one, the best price guarantee. If you want to explain something else, Mauricio. Sorry. The, what if, About what? The, the first one of the um, guarantee policies, the best price guarantee. Okay, the best price warranty when the customer said, oh, but I saw that product in another store for the lowest price than you. And we can provide the same price or the best price that we have just to keep the customer with us. Okay. Number two, 
the second purchase discount guarantee? Well, the second purchase discount warranty is when the customer receives a gift card or something like that to buy another product with us in your second in your second visit visit and get a discount or or get something for free. Okay, thank you. And the last one we have uh, the lifetime guarantee. Well, I. I brought an example with us. For example, when we buy something like a TV show or radio station for, for or radio, and you can use that service for uh, always. You just have to pay as a member, mem mem members, membership, membership. Uh, one time, membership, one time as a like a one hundred or two thousand dollars, it depends the, the the company, and you don't have to pay anything or another amount after you buy that. You just have the opportunity to use that on on other devices, or or in another account, for example, without any other cost, just with your email for or your or your profile. Okay, thank you, Mauricio, for your help. All right, you guys got it. Thank you very much for uh, sharing your ideas and your policies. Now we're going to continue. We're done with the first activity. We got a couple of more activities to do. Yes, and uh, right now we're going to continue with another one. The other one is over here in the book. Yes, and for this one, I will need everyone everyone's participation. I mean, the ones that are available. And uh, it's page number 21, if you want to know. Today's or this class's objective is the following. I will be able to assess risks and provide tips related to return and guarantee policies when shopping online. Yes. Then uh, there are two questions that we're, excuse me, that we're going to discuss. Do you always read the return and guarantee policies before buying items online? Have you ever returned a product you ordered online? Those are the questions that we're going to be talking about. Let me see. I need uh, your opinions, your points of view right now. Let me see. Uh, the first person I need a, uh, an opinion from is going to be... Let me see. I'm, I'm taking a look at everyone right now. I see two Stephanie's. What's going on? I don't know what's going on. All right. The first person is my namesake, Mauricio. What do you think about these questions, Mauricio? Or what can you say about these two questions? From your experience, what can you say? Uh, do you always read the return and the warranty policy before buying items online? Well, for example, Marketplace doesn't show the return or policy warranty, but uh, I always ask about that. For example, what what happened if the size of my shoes uh, is not that it's not okay, or, or, or if I don't like it that. Uh, or for example, what happened if the product mm, um, break down in two days or or break it in, in in one week or something like that. I always, probably I can say, yes, I always read that, the warranty and the policies. And have you ever returned a product you ordered online? And, mm, no, I prefer less money uh, versus lose time because yes. uh, for example if i don't like for me the product i can give for another one and or or do something like that or sell that for uh with a discount uh well that i mentioned before i prefer less money uh less time lose time yes that waste your time i understand that 
Yes. All right. Okay, thank you for your opinion, Mauricio. Let's see what uh let's see what uh, Fabricio has to say about this. Well, in my case, uh, I usually never read the return policies. Uh, I think it is boring. Uh, I, I just ask about the the uh, general conditions for to that for turning a product. Uh, in the case that is def defective. Mm -hmm. uh, that's all I, I, I never read the return policies it's a long uh, document uh, I only <laughs> keep boring. it, it is boring, somewhere right? <laughs> I only keep it somewhere in case I I need it alright just in case you need it what about the second question Mm, the second question, have you ever returned the product of your order online? No, as I told you before, I never ordered uh, something else that than full, uh, that, uh, that full. In that case, uh, I never return the full, always. Como se dice, viene en buen estado. They always arrive in good conditions. They always arrive they in good always conditions. Always arrive in good conditions. Yes. So it's no needed to return. Oh, yeah, you're right, you're right. Yes, you don't have to return it because it is food. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> All right. Thank you for your opinion, Fabricio. Excellent. Let's see what a woman thinks. Stephanie, what do you think about this, Stephanie? What can you say about it? The two questions. Um, for the two questions. Yes. Okay. Do you always read the return and guarantee policies before buying items online? No, I never do it. <laughs> Just in case <laughs> I need it. <laughs> all, right, all right. I yes. If hap if it happens to me, I go to the guarantee and read if I am under the um the days for the guarantee or something like that <laughs> second question uh, what, what do you think? have you ever returned a product you ordered online yes i did it recently actually um yes for this uh last time and uh i was able because i was in the under the days that I couldn't do it. So I did it and it was everything good. All right, all right. And did you get it? Did you get the return? Um no, I get like um, your money back? No, uh for this page, uh I just can uh have the kind of points. Points? Yes, and then I can use it to buy other things using that okay. points. Kind All right. Well, that's, that's, that's good, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> yes. All right. Thank you for, for sharing your experience. Let's see what Eric has to say about this. Eric, what do you think? What is your experience, Eric? I think Eric is drinking water right now. It's okay. Yes, let's see. Magdiel, are you are you available now? I just arrived at home, teacher. Really? Wow. One hour driving? Um one and a half. One and thirty minutes. Wow. I'm sorry, that is every day, right? Jeez. Well, uh, can you give us your opinion with the questions or about the questions? These two questions. The first question is, 
about the policies of return and warranty. Mm -hmm. um, but I think uh, it's rarely read the policy in my cave. But um, we we should read we should read always this this policies because when the product uh, is is or have have a defect or is uh, broke or another things uh, we need to return in this case we we need to know the policies of of return the product but when we but when buy online i think it's it's difficult to return the product and i never i never uh, i never buy it mm -hmm. says i nunca comprado I have never bought. I never bought uh, anything, anything. Anything online. online. Yes. Yeah. I understand. I understand. All right. Magdiel, thank you. Thank you for your participation. Let's see what Marilyn has to say. Marilyn, from your experience, what can you say about these two questions? What is your answer? Or what are your answers? All right, I think he's not, he's not there. Let me see, Mario, what do you think? Well, that one, what do you think? From your experience, what can you say about these two questions, Mario? No? All right, that's okay. Diego, what about you? Are you there? Yes, teacher. Here okay. I am. From your experience, what can you say? Um, it depends. Uh, for the first one, um, I think that I read the, the the politics of the, the the guarantee or 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 return, if um the product is um. Uh, I don't remember. How do you say costoso? Costly? Expensive? Well, expensive is better. If, yes, expensive, yes. If the, the product the product if is expensive and I'll I'm gonna use it a, um, a long time or a lot of times. Yes. A lot of time. And if for example if if it's a shirt and it's like five dollars or two or three dollars or five five dollars i it doesn't matter you know mm -hmm. and then i can read the other one teacher you can read the other one yes okay have you ever returned a product or, uh, online online no never but uh, in per um, in person, yes, mm -hmm. yes. I remember that I bought uh I bought a short, and the the sh it it had a, a a hole, like in in really? in the booty, and near the booty, <laughs> and it was big, and I went to the the. To the, to the the store? the store, yes. And I returned. I returned it. Were you Were you angry? <laughs> no, no, because they um, helped me, and it was fast. And they told me, "Do you want the money or do you want another shirt?" 
and I got another shirt. All right. <laughs> that's okay. That's okay. Thank you. Thank you, Diego, for your participation. Well, let me see if my case is, like I say, I don't usually buy things online. Uh, yeah, I don't really do it, to be honest. I don't really do it. I have bought a couple of things from Marketplace, from Facebook, I mean, from, from there. I uh, have uh, got in touch with a couple of people to buy or to acquire things from them. And what I do is that I go to their profile and I, I, I see if they are real or not. Because sometimes these people that are on Facebook, they, they create fake profiles to scam people. Yes, uh, and they do, you know, they create fake accounts to uh, steal from people, you know. Yes. So I don't usually do that. The last, last thing I acquired was this uh, this decoration. Decor not for me, for somebody else as a gift. I got it. Uh, from marketplace, I got in touch with the woman, but uh, when I was chatting with the woman, I went to her profile to see if it was real or not, to see her profile pictures, to see her posts and everything. You know, because sometimes, you, well, in that case, you have to do that. Yes, you you gotta check if the person is real or not. Yes, and I uh like three days ago, I was going through marketplace again. Because I want to buy a few things for Christmas. And I saw this car that cost uh, half a million dollars here in the Salvador. Half a million dollars. A car. And I checked the pro the person uh, the person's profile. It was fake. The person is trying to, to scam people. And then uh, this ex the same person uh, posted another car. Expensive one. That also cost uh well a zero point six million dollars, a lot of money, right? And I went to her profile, the same person, no information, nothing. It's just a picture, and the picture is not real. That picture is not her. It's a picture from Google. So that person posting those car pictures is not real. So that person must be trying to steal money or trying to scam people. Yes, you, you gotta be careful about that. Yes. Especially when buying from Google, I mean from from Facebook, from the marketplace, because over there you don't see the, you you don't see anything, you don't see reviews, you don't see return policies, you don't see guarantee. You only get get the return or the guarantee if the person tells you, yes. But that's that doesn't mean the person will will uh really do it, yes. All right, let's see. Read the following posts and tips from a forum online discussing return and guarantee policies. Then check the right answer to the question below. Check your choices with a partner. Okay, we got a paragraph over here to read. Let me read it. Once I'm done reading, we're going to check the vocabulary and you will have your chance to read it as well. Yes. I recently purchased an exp expensive electronic item from Techway. Their return policy says 14 to return, 14 days to return. I wanted to play with the item for a few days to see if I wanted to keep it. Now I'm not getting a re refund because the package was not in perfect condition. The second one, I ordered some PC speakers. Not sure whether they were faulty or or just not suited for my to my sound card, but the e store took them back without a question. I did claim they were faulty rather than unwanted, but I doubt they actually checked them before refunding. Three, my wife just returned the camera case that was too small for the for her camera. We had a lot of problems when returning the product and we had to pay shipping to send the camera back. We waited for two months before receiving the refund. Hold on a second over here. They send the camera back or the camera case back? Well, I don't know what happened there. <laughs> yes. All right, and then we got some tips for shopping online. The first tip that we have is items bought on sale may have shorter, may have a shorter return period or may not be returnable. Two, returns may not be as simple when items are bought through a third-party website. Three, 
save all save all receipts or other paperwork for the item that you purchase. Four, check all check the numbers of days you have to notify the return on item, and check if the if there are conditions like keeping the original package. And the last one is uh check if the online store will cover for return shipping. Yes, this is very important. Yes, the return shipping. Because sometimes the companies don't do it. If you want to return it, you gotta pay the shipping. And that's not fair. It is not fair. They they should have that uh, return shipping policy as well. Yes. All right. Let's go over the vocabulary. Do you have any questions about it? Guys? Hello? No. Teacher was just on a paperwork. What is it? Paperwork. Paperwork, papeleo. Like documentation that you are uh, for processes, for uh, when you're buying, when you're acquiring things, for legal things you're doing with banks, with stores. They, they always give you a photocopy, a copy of the documents. That's paperwork. Okay, thank you. You know what sound card is? Yes. Yes, all for right. For the computer. Yes, yes. Yes. All right. More questions about pronunciation? <clears throat> All right. I will need the, I will need the help of three people. Three people to read the paragraph. Yes. Every person is going to read the whole thing, you know, to practice a lot. Yes. Because, uh, no, we do, we do, we do it in couples. Let's see. Uh, Mauricio, no, we're going to start with uh, Stephanie. Stephanie, you are going to read the first four, uh, uh, how can I say this, problems. All right. And Eric is going to read the tips. Stephanie, go. Stephanie, are you there? I think not. <laughs> Eric, are you there, Eric? No. Marilyn, hello, Marilyn. So nobody, nobody is here. I'm alone. All the people went to sleep, teacher. I can see that. I can see that. I'm the only one here. I'm just talking to myself. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Let's see what if Mario is there. Mario. Mario, you're going to read the tips. The last, the last part, this one, the one I'm selecting right now. And uh, Magdiel, hi Magdiel, you are going to read the, the previous ones. Okay. So Magdiel begins and then Mario, you continue reading the tips. All right? Thank you guys. One, two, and three. Yes. One, two, and three. 
Go. This one. This one. Ah, uh, oh, exactly. Yes, one click. Okay. It's only that part. I recently purchased an expensive electronic item from Touch Buy. Their their return policy policy says fourteen days to return. I wanted to play with the item for a few days to see to see if I wanted to keep it to keep it. No, I'm not getting a a refund because the packages packages was not in perfect condition. Two, I ordered ordered some PC speakers. Not sure whether they were faulty or just not suit. It's okay, teacher, suit us? Suited. Suited. Yes. To my sound car. Sound car. But the e-store took took them back without a question. I did claim they were faulty rather than wanted. But I do, I do. They actually checked them before refunding. Three, my wife Ron, just returned a camera case that was too small for her camera. We had a lot of problems when returning the product and we had to pay shipping to send the camera back. We waited for two months before receiving the refund. All right, thank you, Adiel, for reading. Mario, you go on with the tips for shopping online. Tips for shopping online. Number one, I can both on site might have a short return period or might not be returnable. Number two, the tools might not be as as simple when items are bought through a third party sell website. Number three, site are receipts of the paperwork for the items that you purchase. Number four, check the number of day you have to notify the return item and check if there are conditions like keeping the original package. Number five, check if the online store will cover the return shipping. All right. Thank you, Mario and Miguel, for reading the, the tips and the other parts. Let's continue with more people. Diego, you are going to read one, two, and three. All right. And uh, let me see if we got... Uh, Eric, are you there? Teacher, uh, the tips. No, one, two, and three. The okay. first three things, yes. I think Eric is not right available right now. Yes. Stephanie, are you back? Yes, I'm here. Okay, Stephanie, you are going to read, thank you. You're going to read the tips for shipping, for shopping online, and Diego is going to read the first three things. All right, uh, go. From one to five? I'm sorry? From one to five? Exactly, from okay. one to five. Yes, you're right. This okay. one. Okay, right. teacher. I recently, I recently purchased an expensive electronic item from Tech Bay. Their return policy says um, 14 days to return. I wanted to play with the item for a few days to see if I wanted to keep it. Now, I'm not getting a refund because the package was not in perfect condition. Two, I ordered some PC speakers. Not sure whether they were faulty or just not uh, suited. Suited, yes. Suited to my sound card. But the e-store took them back without a question. I did claim they were faulty rather than unwanted, but I doubt they actually checked, checked them before refunding. Three, 
my wife just returned returned a camera case that was too small for her camera. We had a lot of problems when the returning when returning the product, and we had to pay shipping to send the camera back. We waited for two months before receiving the refund. All right. Tips for shopping online. Items bought on sale may have a shorter return period or may not be return returnable. Returns, return returnable. Okay, thank you. Returns may not be as simple when items are bought through a third party website. Save all receipts or other paperwork for the items that you purchase. Check the numbers of days you have to notify the return an item and check if there are conditions like condition. Sorry. Uh, a conditions like keeping the original package. And check if the online store will cover for return shipping. Okay. Stephanie, thank you for reading. Thank you, Diego, for reading. Let's see. Let's try with Fabricio and Mauricio. The names that rhyme. Mauricio, you read this part, and Fabricio, you read the tips. Okay, perfect. Okay. One. I recently purchased, purchased an expensive electronic item from Take Buy. Their return policy says 48 days to return. I warranted to pay to play with the item for a few days to see if I wanted if I wanted to keep it. To keep it. Now I'm not getting the refund because the package was not in perfect condition. Two, I ordered some PC speakers, not sure whether they were fault, faulty or just not suited to my sound so card. But the Easter, the Easter took me the back without a question. I did claim they, they were faulty rather, rather than unwanted, but I doubt they actually checked them before refunding. Three. My wife just returned a camera case that was too small for the hair camera. He had a lot of problems when he returned the product and we had to pay shipping to send the camera back. We waited for them for two months before receiving the refund. Okay, tips for shopping online. Number one. Items bought on sale may have a shorter return period or may not be re returnable. Number two, ret returns may not be as simple when items are bought, bought through a third party website. Number three, save all receipts or other paperwork for the items that you purchase. Number four, check the numbers of days you had to notify the return an item and check if there are conditions like keeping the original package. Number five, check if the online store will cover for return shipping. All right. Thank you, everyone, for reading. Now that we have read the paragraph or the whole thing for a couple of times, we're going to continue down here with the second part of the part number two. And it is the four questions. There are four questions. And I'm going to give you two minutes to read them and answer them. Yes. Read them and answer the questions. I'm going to give you two minutes.
guys you got it yes teacher okay you need a person to read number one read the the, the, the question and read the answer well a return policy is the process a customer follows to ship previously previously purchased merchant merchand uh, merchandise merchandise back to the store. Yes, a return policy is the process a customer follows to ship previously purchased merchandise back to the store. All right. Yes, the online store or the uh, brick and mortar store. All right. The second one. Uh, sure. Another person to read the second one. How many days does the store in paragraph one provide for return? 14 days. All right. 14 days. The question says, thank you, thank you, Magdiel. How many days does the store in paragraph one provide for returns? For 14, exactly, yes. Number three, who can read number three? Me, teacher. Thank you. What was the reason the consumer returned his purchase purchase in paragraph number two? Yes. Uh, it was a faulty product. Are you sure? Yes. Unwanted. Faulty, rather unwanted. Rather, rather than wanted. Okay, it says there are three. What was the reason the consumer returned his purchase in paragraph number two? And uh, Fabricio's answer is the first one, faulty product. Guys, do you agree with Fabricio? Sorry, teacher, I can hear you. Guys, do you agree with Fabricio? No. Okay, what is the answer if you don't agree with him? Two. The second one, unwanted products. Yes. All right. That's why we need we need uh, to have the reading comprehension skills. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Uh, who can read it? The second one. Or the first one? No, the second one, right? The second one. May okay. I, teacher? Yes, go ahead. I ordered some PC speakers. Not sure whether they were faulty or just not suit, suit, suited. Uh, suited to my sound card. But, yes. the, but the A store took them back without, without a question. I did claim they, they were faulty rather than unwanted, but I doubt they actually checked them before refunding. All right. So, look at this. I ordered some PC speakers, right? Not sure. The person was not sure if they were faulty. So, it means that they were not faulty, the speakers. Or just not suited. Suited means compatible. Compatible. And over here, we got uh, this one. Incompatibility issues. So, it's not that one because the person was not really sure about it happen all right so not faulty and not suited so that means compatible with with the sound card so this means i did claim they were faulty the person that returned the speakers said or claimed that the speakers were faulty because he didn't say that he didn't want them he said rather than unwanted so the person didn't want the products or the speakers in this case so it was an unwanted product, the second one, yes. Unwanted product. Not faulty, all right? It's okay, it's okay. okay. Thank you. Number four. Number four. Can I read number four? Can I read this one? 
Okay, Mario, go ahead, read it. Thank you, Mario. Excellent. Um, how long did it take the, for the customer para three to receive their funds? It's number three, two months. Yes. Okay, yes, you are right. That is the right answer. How many days did it, sorry, how long did it take for the customer in paragraph three to receive or to get the refund? It took two months to get it back, two months, all right? Very good. Now, we still have a couple of minutes and we're gonna go down here to part now to page number 23. And on page number 23, we have three questions. Three questions that we're going to solve. Let me see. We don't have a simple puzzle, right? Three questions that we're going to solve by using these structures. Remember, we already dealt with this. We dealt with this topic. I'm not sure when it was. I know it was some sessions ago, like three or four, four sessions ago, about the reported speech with information questions. Why, where, which, who, what time, what kind of, how, etc. All of those. Yes. And uh, well, I've been telling you or reminding you of the structure and how the structure changes when you report it. Okay. Uh, for example, simple present, remember that when somebody says something using simple present, if you report that to another person, to a third person, you're going to report it using simple past. That is the grammar rule, yes? Although you can, you can, uh, you can, uh, uh, how can I say this? You have the chance or the possibility to continue using simple present, all right? If the person says something using simple present, you can uh, report that to a third person still using simple present, yes. But I've been telling you as well that it is better, it is better to use simple past when you report, all right? And the most difficult structure are these two, simple past, when it changes to past perfect. It becomes rather difficult. It gives you some problems. Yes, we forget the auxiliary, we forget the past participle form, and it tends to be uh, kind of confusing or a lot, a lot confusing, yes. And the, the, the easiest one is uh, will change into would. That's the easiest one, yes. All right, we, we've been dealing with this now. We're going to continue down here. It says there, rewrite each question in reported speech using the examples in the uh, in the box above as a model. Do we have them over there, over there? No, we don't have the samples. Okay, guys, three questions. Why is there a 2000 charge in my account? You have, a, you have the beginning of the sentence, a customer asked. The second one, why, what do I have to do to protect my identity from, uh, sorry, myself from identity theft? A friend asked. And the last one, three, when will I receive fraud alerts? When will I receive fraud alerts? A customer asked, oh, we got a number four. I did not see that one. Whoa, it's five. What? Oh, since it is like this. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I thought it was only three, three of them. These three. The, the, I thought it was only three, but no, it's six of them. Wow, I'm sorry. All right, there you go. Six of them. When uh, when did you last change your password? The bank representative asked. What information did they change in the in the in your bank account? The the customer support agent asked. And the last one, when will the bank get in touch with me? A customer asked, okay? Let's see, I'm going to give you 10 minutes, 10 minutes to do this exercise. Six examples or six exercises, 10 minutes. People, let's begin. Let me set the time right now. Let me set it up. There you go, 10. 
times gone. Let's begin.
Guys, three more minutes. One more minute. All right, let's begin. Number one, why is there a 2000 charge in my account? A customer asked, tell me, tell me. A customer asked. A customer asked why there was, why there was a 2000 charge in his account. His account. All right. Uh, remember, I told you a couple of days. Time's up, here. Time's up. A couple of sessions ago, I told you that when we don't know who the person is, I mean, when we don't know the gender of the person, we use their. 
In this case, we, we have customer. We don't know if this customer is a woman or a man. So in this case, okay. well, I'm not going to use his. I'm going to use their because I don't know. I don't know who this person is, right? Charge in their account, right? If we knew, okay. if we knew, well, I don't know what this is up, up there. Rewrite, uh, rewrite each question, report speech. Okay, no, we don't have the person up there. So since we don't know who the person is, we use their. That's a neutral, neutral uh, pronoun, all right? And the rest of it is correct. A customer asked wh why there was a 2000 charge in their account. Excellent. Very good. The second one says, why do I have, uh, sorry, what do I have to do to protect myself from identity theft? A friend asked, can you give me the rest of the reported speech or the reported sentence? Teacher, me, that one is difficult for me. I want to try. Okay. Uh, a friend asked what they did have to do. Okay, what did what they sorry sorry what, what they they uh -huh. yes uh, did had to do to do uh -huh. to protect to themselves. Protect themselves i'm not sure themselves uh, from identity theft i don't know if, if the answer is okay teacher but uh kind of a friend asked me that they know because uh it's talking about oh yeah yeah, yeah. yeah you're right you're right sorry uh, I'm, I'm i'm wrong yes a friend asked me what they had, had, did know. Oh. We don't use did. We use had in this case because it's the past form of the verb had. They had to do to protect themselves from identity theft. All of it is correct. Only did was the problem there. This was the problem, yes. And uh, okay, you apply, you, you apply, you apply the day rule per perfectly over here because I get, again, we don't know if this I is a person, is a woman or a man. It says here a friend asked. We don't know if this per this friend is a woman or a man. So we use they right there, right? If we knew, if we knew this person was a, a woman, we, we, we would use she and herself over here. If we knew this person was a man, we would use he and himself, right? That's how it is. Thank you, Mauricio. Number three, when will I receive fraud, fraud alerts? A customer asked. When? Okay, when, thank you, Diego, when? Customer, when? They? Yes. Or when, no. They, yes, exactly. Yes, yes, they, they. When they will, mm -hmm. will receive fraud alerts. Free fraud alerts. Yes. A customer asked when they would receive fraud alerts. Yes. Correct, correct. Four, I think the number four and number five are the most difficult ones or the challenging ones because we have, we have to use past perfect right there. Let me see, let's start from here. Let's see, let's begin. Guys, tell me. Well, when the did bank. you last change? Yes, tell me. The bank. The bank representative. representative. Asked mm -hmm. 
when I have last changed my password. Wow, excellent, excellent. Yes. When I had last changed my password. Excellent. That's how it is. Correct. Very good. Very good. Number five, what information did they change in your bank account? Let me write it down right there. I got the customer support agent asked. Mm -hmm. Hello? Nobody? I wanna try. Okay, go ahead, Eric. Try. Okay, the customer support agent asked, uh, as what information? Yes. Uh, they have done they have done mm -hmm. don't they no don't I'm sorry know. sorry uh, what information uh, they had changed in your bank account I'm sorry, they have changed in your bank accounts. Yes. The customer support agent asked what information they had changed in their bank accounts. So, all right. The last one, when will the bank get in touch with me? A customer asked. Okay, okay. A customer asks when okay. when when I would not when the bank. Oh the customer asks when the bank would get in touch yes get in touch with in this in this case with a, a, a me change yes okay a customer asked when the bank would get in touch but you can use you can use me yeah it's not this when the bank will get in touch with me yes yes it is correct with me all right okay okay we got we got them all thank you guys for your participation right on time it is, it is one past 11 excuse me one past uh, 10 yes do you have any final questions about this exercise No, okay, that's fine, that's fine, no problem.
Let me let me take attendance. Oh, let me remind you of the platform activities. It is that you have to continue working on them. Remember, you have until Monday to finish the section number two, as well as the midterm exam in the section number two. Okay, the last day to, to complete everything, I mean, section number one and section number two, Monday. Monday is the last day. Now, Tuesday, Tuesday next next week, we're going to begin with, with our uh, fourth week, our fourth week in our third section or third unit in the book. Okay, let me take attendance and then you guys will be free to go. Diego Jose Benitez Leiva. Here, teacher. Elizabeth Stephanie Vasquez Ramirez. Present. Thank you. Emerson Alexander Lopez Lopez. Present, teacher. Eric Enrique Reyes Martinez. Present. Julissa Villalta Villalta. Jamilet, sorry. Carla Ivania Anaya Ancheta. Present, teacher. Thank you. Katia Maria Gonzalez Alvarenga was here for a couple of minutes. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Present. <student>. Yes. <laughs> yes. Thank you. Luis Fabricio Tobar Ramos. Present teacher. Luis Javier Castillo. Present. Thank you, Magdiel Esau Garcia. Present. Oh, this person. Let me see. Thank you, thank you, Magdiel. Marilyn Alejandra Grande Perez. Mario Ernesto Ramirez Lopez. Present teacher. Thank you. Hold on. Eh, Mauricio Edgardo Soriano Ramirez. Uh, here. And Raul Edgardo Muñoz del Cid. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Raul. People, thank you very much for joining today's session. It was a session number 13. Well, tomorrow we're going to continue. Tomorrow is Friday. Yay. All right. Guys, thank you for joining. Thank you for being here and for participating. It is time to go and sleep or rest. So I will see you tomorrow. Have a good night. Sleep well. Rest well. And I wish you, I wish you anything else, anything but rest. A good rest. All right. If you have any questions, don't worry. You can stay and you can ask me. All right. If not, don't worry, you can leave, all right? People, see you tomorrow. Take care and have a good night. Thank you, teacher. Good night, everyone. Thank you, thank you.